Welcome everyone to another edition of 4D, Death's Daily Dose of Dota. That song has me pumped up. I am ready for an excellent game today. I picked out a great game from the recent New York tournament, ESL New York 2014. Today's game that we're going to be watching is between the winners, VG Gaming, and I believe this is a first round game with uh, Navi, it's game three. But uh, what I wanted to focus on today was something that was prevalent throughout the tournament, which was FY's amazing support jungling Sand King. You saw him initiating many fights, getting a lot of kills, and just really being productive in a variety of the games. We're going to hop over to the 3 and one analysis page. And what I wanted to bring up Def Score today just to show was the ability for some of these supports, the support role rather, to really get some kills in the mid game with the damage that some of these heroes can put out, especially Sand King. Up on the screen today, I do have Sand King selected. Just wanted to point out a couple things here. One, even though he is a strength hero, his damage breakdown is mostly magical. All four of his abilities, including his ultimate, are magical damage, something that you would uh, expect to see from an intelligence hero like Skywrath Mage. So he's a bit of an interesting strength hero. He can provide uh, the jungling capabilities, which we're going to look at in a moment, but also a lot of magical burst damage with a slightly larger HP pool than a lot of these supports that are being picked. Um, and we're going to just select a couple different heroes here that I had in mind. We see in the game there's a Rubik, a Centaur, a Brewmaster coming out from Navi's team. We're already well into the draft. But uh, you'll see that with many of these heroes, let's pick Centaur, they still have a favorable matchup for Sand King because of the excellent silence that he has. Assuming he has a blink dagger, he'll have excellent initiation and just a large amount of damage per second DPS that his ult can pump out. We can just select the Rubik here and def score and you'll see that Sand King has quite a favorable matchup against him. 85% confidence of a kill, at least at level 16. But let's hop into the game now and I'm just gonna get this draft rolling again. We're right before the fifth picks come out, and I usually like to pause it here just so we can see the kind of compositions that they're running with. I always like to talk about the strength, intelligence, and agility heroes. And we can see from Vici Gaming they've picked their Sand King and Skywrath Mage, both supports first, and they've brought up afterwards with Bristleback, excellent frontline hero, and Elder Titan. They still could use an agility hero, I feel, to fulfill the carry role. And likewise, on Navi's side, they've come out with a Brewmaster or Centaur. Their two supports are going to be a Rubik and perhaps someone else in addition to the Centaur. And it looks like they're going to be gearing up their Luna to be the agility carry. So we're going to get this rolling Please turn to pick. and cut over into the game here. As I just mentioned, Navi could use with a support. Witch doctor. And they do pick that with the Witch Doctor. VG Intelligence Hero, he's a caster. He's also going to be providing a bit of utility with the heals. Not a bad pick. Vici still could use an Agility Hero. And although they look a little heavy on the Strength Heroes, as I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, Sand King, all four of his abilities are magical damage. So he's going to be able to fulfill a role much like the Skywrath Mage can. But we're going to see him doing some jungling instead at the beginning. Ten seconds remaining. We're just going to fast forward to the video here Five to see the punchline. And the final pick is a Razor, an agility hero. To pick. It's going to be played by Super. FY will be picking up that Sand King. Pretty balanced lineups for both. We see the Bristleback and the Centaur Warrunner will probably be filling that frontline tank, if you want to call it that role. Presumably going to be a Razor and Brewmaster mid. But what I wanted to focus primarily on in the beginning of the game, as we see a pause come out on a replay, we can just skip through that. We're going to be focusing on FY's play. 
on this Sand King. At the beginning of the game, you'll see they're keeping bunched up closely. It wouldn't surprise them to see Navi attempt to invade their jungle to put some sentries down to try and impede this Sand King jungle, who will be using most of the first 10 minutes of the game to work towards a Blink Dagger. And he is just waiting directly next to that, that wonderful camp that's one of the best to farm for Sand King. But he's going to be focusing on this trifecta of camps right here. And you can just see them playing defensively around in their jungle. They wanted to ensure that no sentry wards got down and Sand King can get that blink dagger unabated as quickly as possible. Likewise on Navi's side, they're camped up about to contest the rune together. Presumably a tri lane is going to be coming out here with Luna heading begins. things up. And once again at mid, we see the Razor seat. against the Brewmaster. Love watching Dandy's Brewmaster, but that's for another day. Today is about the jungle, and it's about FY. Hey, already waiting in the jungle for those 30-second camps to come up. Though he will not be farming those first. He's picked up his Burrow Strike, and I wouldn't really recommend the, the Rank 1 Sandstorm for jungling. Not as much the damage, which of course is going to be the lowest out of all the ranks, but it's just 20 seconds long. Other than the small camp, you really can't kill anything in 20 seconds. And that's exactly what he's heading over for. It's the 40 second mark, and he will immediately pull at the first opportunity he can. You see a ward and sentry going down. Witch Doctor has actually rotated up to the top lane to support Centaur, but Bristleback's going to be able to keep this lane with Skywrath Mage while Sand King quickly wants to race towards that first level of Sandstorm at level 2. This small camp will get him most of the way there to level 2, but he's going to need a little bit more than that. He rotates over to help out his lane. But the Skywrath Mage will be here to help Bristleback and allow Sand King to get his farm on. He did start off the game with what looked like a stack of tangos, one clarity, and boots of speed. Love the boots of speed on Sand King. Just helping you move around a little faster to speed up the jungling. And you're gonna need the boots anyway. I've seen some people want to save immediately for the blink dagger, but boots, clarity, tango, they're gonna be very beneficial at the start. So it's the minute 44 mark, coming up on our second minute, and it looks like FY is gonna use the time to stack. Even though he has the mud golems here, he'll still want to see what he can get the next time around. Try and get something other than mud golems for the next stack. He's going to also be able to come here and get the two minute rune, killing two birds with one stone. Double damage. But after stacking that successfully, he's going to immediately go back and try and get this pull lane. As he will be securing the pull there and just working towards level 3 where he can get rank 2 sandstorm and start getting things done. Meanwhile, just going over to the last hits denies, we see a pretty even farm here. Luna's doing quite well in her lane, likewise for the bristles having a fair amount of success. Really forcing that centaur back, but he has a few last hits. FY very close to level 3, one or two more camps will do it, but it's already at the 48 second mark and he's roaming back to get another stack. 52, 53, pulls it at about 55 seconds, which is great timing considering he does already have the boots. And that will be two successful stacks in a row. And what does he do? He just rotates back over to lane. He sees that not much is going on in his individual lane. But he is very close to level 3. He'd like to get it off of this creep right here. He's going to need one more to do it. Centaur, rota rotating towards the mid. He can see FY sitting there with that rune, though. Sand King does have the level 3, and he's immediately going to use it on the small camp. It's about 4 minutes in as we see Navi's lane below pushing up towards the tower. Elder Titan's going to be an excellent Dyer's person to defend this lane though. But once again we're Dyer's nearing up on the four minute mark and there will be stacking. This time he pulls it at about the 54 second mark. 
And will that be three stacks in a row? It will. That's going to be an excellent camp there. Likewise, Skyrath had just stacked that as well. Excellent teamwork. In the mid lane, our two mid heroes are duking it out. And Sand King's going to start on this farming. He's at about 800 gold right now at the four minute mark. He needs to get up to 2250. This camp will give him about 220 of that, and this is probably another three to 400. While he's doing that, we can just see that Super's been chased away from the mid lane. Excellent high ground ward here. Love that ward, by the way, from the KDL. Korean Dota League. Uh -uh. Ice 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 is holding his own. He has seven last hits, respectable, for what essentially is a 1v3. But FY we see is just continuing to farm up here. He chose not to stack the camp. Instead, he had just cleared this camp, so it will respawn. And he is using his time now to clear this triple stack. The mud golems won't die, but the other three will. And you'll see what was 800 gold at the four minute mark is quickly nearing 1500. And although he is a support, he's right now hanging in at fourth on the net worth chart. He will immediately rotate, choose not to pull that lane camp, but instead he's wandering over here, seeing if he can support in the lane. Unfortunately, this ward has another 20 seconds left, and Funnick will know to back off. We're coming up on the 50 second mark. FY will choose to turn around and pull this camp, just trying to maximize his efficiency as much as possible. He doesn't have to farm this camp immediately, but when he does come back, it will be a double stack. And he's already level 5. That sandstorm's really going to be efficient. We saw Razor dive into the jungle to get a first kill on Witch Doctor, but the focus is this FY jungling Sand King. He's greatly concerned about getting that blink dagger. He's up to 1800 gold now. He will definitely have it before the 10 minute mark. Just using the Sandstorm again. Rank 3, it's 40 mana. You can see with his mana pool, he can use that upwards of 7 times. He's level 6 right now online as well. It's 45 seconds in. He has an excellent opportunity to stack again. But instead he's going to rotate towards the mid. He sees his mid being jumped on. Brewmaster has blown his ult. FNG with Witch Doctor is joining as well. But it's actually a 3 on 2. FY will not be able to save his ally. But it was still a good rotation. It has caused Centaur to rotate along with the Skyrath Mage. Using the Burrow Strike just to try and get out of there. And as a result of the rotation, with Skyrath joining him and Elder Titan bringing up the rear, they will secure a kill on that Centaur. He's up to 2100 gold and very close to the Blink Dagger. With several the heroes here in mid, is under attack. he tells his teammates, guys, I'm really close, probably two camps away from that Blink Dagger. I'll be in the jungle. Middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom and although it might have set attack. his Blink Dagger back, oh, 30 seconds or so, that rotation was still very crucial. Did help secure a kill on Centaur Radiant's with that overextension. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And with that kill, is mine. he's going to get the Blink Dagger. He will immediately run back to base. Looking back at our other lanes, Funnick is back in the off lane, wondering where everyone has been. He doesn't want to get too close to the wave here. Both of these supports are missing, but little does he know they are rotating. FY using the time to farm up. And we see immediately with the Blink Dagger, the first item he picks is a smoke. The Blink Dagger will really provide a greater ability to get off the epicenter. And this amazing duo of Fenrir and FY set out into the bottom lane with smoke in tow, looking to take advantage of, uh, I think that was an eight minute Blink Dagger on Sand King. Excellent timing. 
He's also very close to level 6. He'll be able to get another rank on Burrow Strike, probably. We saw Elder Titan in his offlane doing quite well, already able to pick up the Soul Ring. And here's the rotation from our two supports with our Jungle Sand King now equipped with a fresh Blink Dagger. They are on the hunt. Trying to use that item advantage. We can see Sand King still fifth greatly out farming the supports of Navi. And they're lying in wait supporting Ice Ice Ice. They don't see anyone here. The Astral Spirit was also using to scout. They're about to run into someone as their smokes run out. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. The blink and the burrow strike. But a stampede ultimate for ultimate will ensure that Sand King's ultimate does not secure a kill there. And instead, with the rotation of Dendi from mid and Avos coming back into the lane, it does not look like the best trade. Sand King does still get seven. And that'll be rank three on his burrow strike. A little longer range there, a little more damage. And he will retreat back to base. Two minutes with the blink dagger and no kills have been secured, but those kills are yet to come. Fenrir is already back up pushing the top lane with Super and Black. They're getting some good damage on the courier, on the tier one tower rather. And what does FY do? He just picks up a TP, picks up some Observer Wards, and he goes back into the lane. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Epicenter is still going to be on cooldown for over a minute, but if he's rotating with a support like Radiant the Skywrath Mage. That is not as important as this over two seconds stun. Top tower has fallen. Doing 200 damage and then about 60 per second magical damage. But with a little lull in the action, he'll use it instead. Farm up a little more. This will net him about 110 gold. And Fenrir, the other support from Vici Gaming, is doing the same. He's lane pulling. Especially now that this tower is gone, just to get a little extra gold. We see Super, the mid, working on the mechanism. And Sand King chooses instead to buy... Well, that's going to be Skywrath Mage's sentries, but more importantly, another smoke coming out. At about the 12 minute mark, and immediately... Fenrir and FY, this fantastic duo, will go out with the help of Ice 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 looking for blood. We can switch to their vision. They don't see anyone on the map right now, other than Dendi being very defensive in the mid lane. So they'll rotate in through the jungle this time. FY leading the way. They're not sure what's up this high ground. That's just a that's just an illusion. And Dyer's even if the smoke fails, you'll notice they have excellent wards down now. They were also potentially dewarding here. But the smoke, it's being broken. Expiring. There's four heroes mid. The flank is real. Another epicenter stopped, though. But we saw a burrow strike with the help of the blink dagger will secure the kill on the Rubik in mid. Meanwhile, the fighting continues, and Fenrir takes another death. Don't think ill of me. Sand King using his clarity potion. He doesn't want to go back to base just yet. He knows that another fight could be imminent. Ice 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 agrees, and they will rotate into the jungle. They now have great vision here with the ward. Avost. His spider sense is tingling. He'll back off immediately after farming up the camp. But Sand King doesn't mind, he's still regenerating mana with the Clarity Potion. He's still in a very advantageous position with this ward. I have a feeling that will come into play soon. And the mid lane is being forced out. Black and Super are both putting pressure on the lane. They're going to need a, another creep wave to come up. And FY lies in wait. Ice 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 is here. They're going to have to back off. There's four heroes here. Instead, an excellent Burrow Strike into Sandstorm. 
Beautiful mech saving Sand King there. Razor's already having that mechanism pay for itself. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And two magic sticks coming out for FY, probably a mistake. Radiance Not sure he, he might have forgot that attack. he bought them. Radiance structures and with that, he'll be going back to base as the rest of his team, as four, push together and secure that mid tower. Fallen. I've kept the net worth up here just to see how he is staying very competitive. He's at about 4k net worth relative to both supports on Navi being very low. He does sell that. And it looks like he'll be potentially buying another smoke here. He does want the sentries as well. And he's porting to the top lane now. His epicenter is off of cooldown. He could get something done here. He has Blink Dagger, he's charging it up. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Almost securing the kill. Many supports would have died there, but with the help of a stun from a Vost and a rank 2 heal, Voodoo Restoration. Which Doctor attack. will get away. But FY is not discouraged. He's got a kill, Dyer's he hasn't died yet. Three assists, his time is coming. Bottom tower but is the first attack. death might be imminent. There's four rotations, top lane with only him to defend. Doesn't even have enough mana for a burrow strike. As we see, his teammates' space created, they're Dyer's pushing out this bottom tower, tower and attack. it will presumably be a trade if Black can get it down in time. It will be a trade. 160 Radiance gold coming to Sand fallen. King, and all he had to do was stay alive. With him still lying in wait here, with the Burrow Strike. Gold is a great conductor. Super and Fenrir. They were looking to rotate, but instead they'll back off towards the mid lane. I think they saw the heroes of Navi going into the jungle. Didn't want to get counter initiated on. And we're having a bit of a lull in the game. Several tier 1 towers are down. The heroes are grouping up a bit more. And we're going to use that time to take a break. That would be at about 16 minutes in what I would consider the end of the mid game, or pardon me, the end of the early game. It's going to be the start of the mid game. Our heroes are going to be grouping up more. Many people have wards out. Many people have blink daggers. There's a lot of vision. There's a lot of potential for ganks. And after this break, we'll come back and see what all that jungling can do for a sand king in the mid game. We'll be back after this.